I can't get through the door. Wow. wow. <laughs> we usually run into the door. <laughs> Hi, everybody! We're here on Cubeville, yeah. which is one of our favorite servers. We like to hang out here and work on building stuff, like All the gazebo the behind us. That is our town center for our small village that we have here on this map. Every you can learn everything about it. We need to update it for some announcements and news, but for the most yeah. part, everything's there. Like, if you want to live in our village, what our village rules are, and your name is right in my face. That's I'm kind sorry. of crazy. Look at that. Um, it's okay. <laughs> but we do have a village here that we started. This map is just recently been reset, and it is only a month old. So we haven't been on this map for very long for what we have built. It's kind of amazing. But we also had some sick days and uh, we didn't feel good. And so we came on here and just like spent all of our time building while we were sick. It was relaxing. It was nice. It was, it was bad, but it was nice. So yeah, one of the things that um, we love about Cubeville, we love, is that you notice that it is night. It is dark, it is night, and it should be scary when it's mm -hmm. night. But this is a very family-friendly server, and there's lots of people to help. Um, but the great thing about it is that if you light up your area, mobs do not spawn in your area. So we can hang out um, behind our fence. You can see over there on the right. Um, you can see on our fence right over there that you, if you just stay inside our borders, then live. we will live. We will live. The sun is coming up. I know. I want to turn around and show what Munchie has built as the sun's coming up. The, the moon is setting over there. We have a guest house over there, too. And it's really super cute. I'm so excited that it was built. That's our town hall gazebo. That's Munchie's on the other side of Minnie right there. Munchie's, uh, Munchie's uh, mining Mining shed is over there. And we lose Munchie in the mines a lot. Like, she also dies in the mines. <laughs> she doesn't come up to air. No. We ready? And Munchie built this beautiful flag for us. It's super cute. On. You put the stars on. Super cute for Memorial Day. We're going to leave it up until 4th of July. We like to decorate like that on our plot. Um, actually, in our village. Because this is more than just a plot. As a uh, member or citizen, actually, it's called a citizen. As a citizen of Cubeville, you can have three 30 by 30 plots. And if you do slash mod request, I'll put that command on the screen. When you come in and find a place you want to build on, if you do slash mod request and say, hey, I want to build something right here, um, a mod or staff will come out and help you set up those plots of land. So it's very kid friendly. They, yeah, have they, then nobody else can break it. Like they can't steal your torches. So Not that anybody steals torches. Like hey. That was bad. Sorry. No. <laughs> oh, and speaking of grieving, creepers do not grieve. They can yeah. kill horses. Oh, they can kill horses. I'm so sorry. It was awful. <laughs> so you do want to keep creepers away from your animals, but they can't destroy your ground. Like they can't destroy your builds and your ground. Um, so that's kind of nice. They can't grieve that. And neither can Enderman. Enderman won't come in and walk off with your grass. <laughs> I know. But when you also come on Cubeville, I already showed you something about like slash hub and slash spawn. I already showed you those places. But when you get out into the wild, you're running, you're running, and you're looking for a place to build. And then you decide, oh, no, it's getting dark and my area that I'm standing in is not well lit and I'm terrified I'm of die. monsters and everything else, do a really quick slash set home with no spaces in it and then do a slash spawn and you will go back to spawn where it's safe in downtown Cubeville where no monsters come and get you. And then when the day comes again, you can also go into the hub and do some farming while you're waiting for the day to come back. And then when day comes back again, you can do slash home and you will go right back to where you were. It's awesome. And then you can keep on going. That's actually how we found this place because it's really far away from spawn. Um, and we don't have a lot of visitors because we don't have any hubs or portals or anything for any way for somebody to come out here. We've led some people out here and they love it, um, but it's quite the run to get out here. You have to run. <laughs> I hope. 
Um, forever. Um, we ran into a polar bear. I'll post that picture now. Okay, yeah, we ran into that polar bear. It was fun. We snuggled. With it. <laughs> we snuggled, it we snuggled cute, with the cute bear. He, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Whenever the we didn't have to worry about that though. So yeah, we ran and ran and did set home and went back to spawn. We went to the hub. We got some trees. We would go and get more melon. We would. Um, what else did we do? We fished. As soon as we got fishing poles, fishing is a very productive sport around here. Saddles. Saddles are great for all the horses you keep in your awesome barns. That's our barn over there. It needs to be expanded. We have um, we have more horses. <laughs> we have more horses than we have barn space, but we're going to work on that because we will be um, having a horse trail out here and uh, we will let people ride the horses. We also have had an influx of skeleton horses and that's not fun. So I penned in all the tamed ones and if they're not in that fence, I kill them <laughs> because I'm tired of skelly spawner trap things. And oh my goodness, they're so terrifying. I jump every oh, time. I jump. No yes, they do spawn no matter how much light you have. So please be careful of skeleton horses on the map. Just try to avoid them unless they have a saddle on and then they're okay. Um, But yeah, so we did set home several times and we got out here and we built this. This is the first thing we built. And um, we had time to plan for this building because we knew the map was resetting. So we started working on a house design as soon as we heard about the map reset. Yep. So that's why it's kind of, um, it, it's kind of big. I'm still working on the roof because I'm rebuilding um, with stair steps up there. You can see instead yeah. of these blocks. But just to get it going, we did the blocks really quick uh, just to get it going, basically. And added I added on to the back and I'm going to add on to the kitchen side. We'll show you, but we'll we'll go out this way with the kitchen side so that it's, I don't know. We just don't have a very big kitchen. We don't have any room for a table to invite guests over. Yeah. And this server is so much fun. People actually do. Yeah, we we had gifts dropped off for us. We can't break this sign because we Thanks. didn't put the sign there. We didn't put the sign there, so we can't break it. But I kind of don't want to because it's, you know, it was such an awesome thing. They yeah. dropped off some really awesome gifts they for us. They gave us a shulker box. They gave us a shulker box. They gave us some diamonds and redstone yeah, and... So Oh, we were just so excited. We love getting gifts. So we actually have a mailbox, too, so that people can drop stuff off for us, which we don't need any saddles, so please don't drop saddles off for us. Really? You still can't take it out? Oh, I just threw my pickaxe. Ah! I, um... Oh, look, somebody gave me a sapling. I'm so excited. Look at this. Isn't it adorable? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, so we do set up mailboxes for people, although I need to set it so that Minnie and Munchie can obviously get into it. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, our house being so big. Sorry. <laughs> oh, auto-closing gates and doors. Well, when she steps on the pressure plate, that works. But I love this, although it often will close at the most inopportune times and slam in your face. You're like, I can't get through the door. Wow. wow. <laughs> we usually run into the door. <laughs> Let's go. But I love auto closing doors on here because I have children who forget to close doors. <laughs> and let creepers in the house. <laughs> and admin saved me. It they did. An admin came over and saved her from the crazy creeper in the house because she was it like <sighs> <laughs> so auto closing doors with kids is a great idea but having your land well lit because in the last mat map last mat the last map we didn't have this much land um and we didn't have this many torches out either like we just lived with the mobs we just had fun with them because mobs on here are not as intelligent <laughs> especially if they come out of a spawner show them how a mob from a spawner looks show them what it does yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what a mob from a spawner does. They are totally not life. They're, they're, yeah, they're crazy stupid. <laughs> wow, you called them dumb? I did not. I called a mob from a spawner dumb. Not you. Not you. You're smart. So anyways, auto closing. PVP is off unless you go to the PVP arena. So I can't hurt. 
And you can't, if you, um, if you claim your land, they can't kill your animals on it. But you have to have the claim land to do that. So our doggies always stay in our house so that we don't have to worry about that. Um, cause the house is entirely claimed because you have those three 30 by 30 plots. So this is actually, I have two of my plots claimed inside of our village. No. I don't know, but... 1.11 throws things really far. <laughs> like when you, when you throw something or break something, it goes Back. forever oh, away. It goes forever away. <laughs> oh, watch know. out. You're pushing my puppy around. Sorry. Get off my puppy. I need Sorry. to move him out of the door. He needs to be out of the door a little bit. There we go. We have puppies on this map. We didn't have any the last time. They're so cute. I just love them. <laughs> She's okay. Yes, I forgot about my little mommy's day present. Yeah. So cute. Thank you, Minnie. Oh, that's right. On Cubeville, you do get money if you vote off of the Cubeville website. If you do voting, you'll get 30 cubes for, you know, for the day that you vote. And it's very helpful to buy stuff at downtown to have uh -huh. to have those cubes. Anyways, um, I didn't really introduce you into the house. Like this is the main room here. We added that on. You can see the little church that we built in the back. If my Optifine would. Isn't it cute? Yes, I haven't built the fireplace. For some reason, I put a window and forgot the plan. Sorry, wow. I forgot the plan. We're going to build out on our, so that our house chicken and our house cow named Bernard, I can't see him, <laughs> so that Bernard, our house cow, can go outside further, well, not outside, but he has six eggs again. Put a, put a chicken in a mine cart and put a hopper underneath him and you have eggs for days. <laughs> so, but we're going to build out a little bit further on this wall so that our kitchen can, we can have guests over for fun. Like we're getting ready for a Cubeville party right now. There's going to be a downtown Cubeville party. Kind of excited. Ooh, I can eat a piece of cake. So there'll be parties pretty soon, but we can invite people over after a portal or a hub gets closer to us so that we don't have to have people embarrassingly run so far to our house. Yeah. Downstairs is our enchantment room. It's not done yet, so I'm not even going to go there. Not even going to go there. This is our storage room, and we kind of liked this house design because of the storage room. In our last map's home, our storage room was maybe that big like it was small and cramped and we, we had, had to, like, chests everywhere stack chests, chests, and, chests, and, and we we had to issues with somebody wanting to cook something and the furnace was already being used so yeah we had a lot of we wanted better storage so we kind of like this map or this um build so that we, and we still have room for more chests if we wanted to oh we could have put some there but the door's there now but anyways yeah. that's okay that's okay. And plus, then we don't have to share crafting tables. I love having all these crafting tables everywhere. I might work on the floor a little bit more, but that's stuff that I can tweak. The maps are usually around for about a year or two, so this will be around for a while. I got plenty of time to tweak the barn, as you can see, the back there um, with all the horses in it. I need to just extend it. Um, yeah, there's just things that I, I always find something to work on. This is Munchie's room, and you come upstairs, and then we also have an addict. An addict? We have an addict. We have a Minecraft addict in our house. Oh, look, it's me. <laughs> oh, look, it's me. We have an attic. I have my bed up there, but I don't really do much up there. My, my spawn point is up there. But this is Munchie's side, and this is Minnie's side. She's a little bit of our alchemist, so she's got stuff for making potions. She and likes to. Critters. And critters. Oh, I didn't know that you copied those banners and stuck them up here. You did. And this is our loft. I don't have auto closing doors on the loft because, well, I figure they're up high enough off the ground. I don't think anything can climb those vines. Hopefully, no creepers would end up up here. I hope. Ooh. Fast exit, fast exit. Oh, ender chests are yours. Like what I have in my ender chest, um, Minnie doesn't have, she's got different stuff in hers. It's the same I stuff. I have an emerald, a saddle, and paper. And you're not taking anything. Oh, and my awesome fishing poles. I love my fishing poles. Why do you have eggs in your ender chest? 
And these are downtown, and almost every single town and village will have an ender chest in it. So if you have something special that you want to transport, then just stick it in your ender chest. Like I often hide tools when I'm running around. Well, not my sword, because I kind of need that. But um, if I'm running around from town to town, I'll hide it in my ender chest so that I don't lose it. And then once I get there, because, you know, it's friend family friendly and all that, but nothing ever says, you know, like... I hate you mob like beating them with a shovel. You don't want to do that. You'd rather beat them with your sword. <laughs> your sword. <laughs> um, do we want to show them anything else or Oh, global chat. If you want to chat, hello. I won't chat with you. I'm so sorry. If you want to talk to everybody, which I turned off my chat for this so that it wasn't um taking up my screen and it wasn't lagging me cuz my computer's old. Let's just face it. My computers are old. I know. I'm sorry. All of our computers are old. Let me put some stuff away here. Okay. Um, if you want to chat with people who are standing right next to you, you can just type to them. You hit T and start typing. Oh. <laughs> I hit back to game. <laughs> hey, yo. Um, but if you and uh, anybody within, I think it's a 50 block radius yeah. can see that. So our neighbors... Our neighbors over there might just see it, but I don't know. Um, but if you want to chat with everybody in global chat, you need to type you need to type slash y or slash sh before you start typing, so that everybody can hear you. Because otherwise, it's only the people that you're standing nearby. And if you want somebody to help you, we're not always standing nearby because there's very few people out here by us, like our neighbors that way. We have two we have two sets of neighbors that way and we've got nobody on that side of us yet but it's a dark forest it's like trees so nobody wants to live there <laughs> it's creeper infested <laughs> there is a village over there that I was working on saving it but it's quite a ways it's quite a ways over there yeah so nobody can hear us even if they were at that village they could hear us if they were in our church in our backyard um, or if they were in Minnie's Munch, or Minnie's Munch, Munchie's Mine. <laughs> yeah, that, or if they were if they were gardening in our um, greenhouse, they could hear us from the house. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's kind of nice. But if you want to chat with people further away, then you need to do slash Y yeah. so that they can hear it. Or slash SH, but I prefer slash Y because it's faster. Yes, we said that at the beginning. You can say it again, though. We're in the village of... Isla de las Cablas. Woohoo! She says it so much better than I. Of the, goats. the islands of the goats. Yeah, because we're kind of surrounded by rivers. Like we're not a true island, but we've got rivers all the way around us. So boat transportation is really handy around us. Yeah. But you also have cool like respiration and oh, yeah. depth strider and fr frost walker. Like yeah, we love all of these things so that we can. We can get around. Nope, that's okay. We need to go see the barn is what we need to see. I forgot to, to show them. Whoop. I can't get out the barn door. Yeah. Okay, I'm out the door. I got out <laughs> oh, there you go. So this is our, our barn. And um, yeah, we're working on uh, some of them are ours. Like we're going to keep them. But some of them we're going to, um, we need to put, we're going to get more over here probably. To sell on the server, like the mushrooms we're not going to sell. Hi guys, how you doing? What's up? Um, I need to work on the stalls up here. Um, we've got loft areas up there that I haven't decided. I've got hay bales up there for now, but that's about it. But I want the downstairs or the upstairs to look like the downstairs here so that when we have residents in our village, we can give them a stall and I can put their names on the door so nobody else can get into it. But the person that has their name on the stall and that way they can put their animals in there and keep them. And there's all your lovely llamas. We did buy... We had to buy these llamas because I didn't find any wild llamas on this server. Yeah, we bred the rest. And then I've got bunnies. I need to move them into the new bunny hut we're going to make. Because they're kind of freaking out in that stall. And here's our skelly horses that we're going to keep. There's Ribsy, Bow, and Arrow. Because <laughs> skelly horses are super fast. They're super fast. Bow and arrow, yeah. Um, they're super fast horses. The only problem with um, skelly horses is you can't lead them. No. So if they get stuck in water, you kind of have to nudge them, nudge them through. But they jump really high and they run really fast. Oh, so there's nothing. It's just 
It's just bones. Ah, auto closing. Got you. <laughs> Now, this is our chicken coop, and it's actually locked. Like, the only thing that people can get into is if they're a resident, they can get into the chest. Wow, 15 eggs. Didn't we just empty that, too? But if they're a founder, whoo, stay in there, chicken. <laughs> if you're a founder, then you can get into the door. And that's one of the reasons why we became a village is because, be careful, the chickens are right there, <laughs> is because there's three of us. I'm the mayor, and Minnie and Munchie are founders with me, and um, we have two residents right now. We have Lissa Lane, who is also a moderator on the server, so she's part of the staff, but she also joined us. We're buddies with some of the staff. Yeah. Um, we love the staff. They're, They're so, so much nice. fun. They're so nice. They're so much fun, too. Um, there is there's things called as cake jail. You probably don't want to find out about cake jail. No. Don't ask Monty or Vic about cake jail. Or Wally, don't ask, do don't ask him. Don't, don't ask him. Just no. don't do it. You'll end up in cake jail. <laughs> so, but anyways, yeah, Lissa, I hope you can't hear that garage door going up and down. Our garage door is stuck. Okay, they got it down. <laughs> so, Lissa and Fraggle are our um, our residents right now, but we'll have more residents because we're gonna clear some plots of land and put them around over there. Yeah. Um, we'll have some shops over there. We're just not. It's it's gonna take a while. It all takes time. We're gonna extend out the farm here with some um, sheds or lean-tos for each of the farm animals, so that because we'll need more farm animals if we become a town. Not a wow, that's not cool, man. Well, don't hit him at me. I want to ah! shoot him. You can get the experience. I'm trying to get away from it. Get it. Are you okay? Get the experience. Coming at me again. Wow, it's following me. How did that guy get in here? I don't know. Where did he show up at? I don't know, Mom. We will have to check into that. That will have to be investigated because that never happens. That was weird. Especially from the house. Let me check. Yeah, everything's, there's no low light levels. Oh, they don't usually spawn in trees. Oh, you know what? I don't think we lit up the top of the flag. <laughs> this is a mod, by the way, to show me light levels. You can check it in F3. Where is it at? F3, and then you look somewhere on here, and you can see light levels. I don't know where it is. So I just use a mod for light levels. This way I can make sure it's safe for the kiddos. I don't want any monsters showing up, but I'm betting it came off of the top of the flag because I never lit up the top of the flag. Mm -hmm. I did. I lit up the mushroom because I had spiders attacking me on the top of the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're just a magnet. So yeah, we'll have to put some torches up there. We'll have to light that up and make sure it's okay. Do you have torches on you? Here. No. I think that should be plenty. Do you have dirt? Why do you guys never have dirt on you? I always have dirt. I need to eat something. So while she's doing that, I'm going to grab a snack. This is the type of stuff you got to do all the time. You got to keep up with it. And uh, make it even. Yeah, try to make it even and stuff. Um, But yeah, anyways, before we were rudely interrupted. Don't fall. <laughs> by zombie villager visitor there. Um... Yeah, so this is our house on Cubeville and where we live. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, our little town hall, our, we have little streets and I need to work on bridges. We have a guest house, we have a church, we have residents. There's so much more to be done though. Like there's always something to do. I could totally get sucked into Minecraft here, like really bad. Now I have ambient music. Now it's telling me all is well, all is well, the sun is up. <laughs> So anyways, um, we hope that you enjoyed this. Do you want to say yeah. goodbye? You want to say goodbye yeah. with me? Yeah. If you ever come on to Cubeville, look us up. Let us know you're here. And we'll definitely say hi. We'll definitely say hi. Especially if you do slash Y before you say hi. Because we might be here. Like here, here. Like, and we wouldn't be able to hear okay. you from the hub or spawn if you didn't do slash Y. <laughs> so we went we aren't ignoring you if we we can't hear you yeah we're not on it's not our fault because we should live on here even though we could 
<laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining us. I hope you had fun. I think I just broke some dirt. Did I break something? That can be fixed. That can be fixed. Anyways, I'm good at breaking stuff. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I am on fire. Hey, why are you shooting at the camera? Wow. That's impressive. That's like, that's, can you clean that up? Thank you. <laughs> num, num, num. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. Let's try this again. Get all the ums out. Um, 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 um,